Brian. I'm a couples and individual therapist in Toledo, Ohio. And I met you because I took the externship, the EFT externship back in 2019. And you were my lovely trainer. Uh, As you know, I'm from the Midwest originally. Mm -hmm. So there's something really special for me when I get to come to the Midwest and talk about this very precious model that we have emotionally focused therapy because I I so believe in what it brings to us as therapists and to our clients. One of the things I'm so excited about is we are actually planning an in-person training mm-hmm. in Toledo. That'd be great. And I think, Brian, that one of the things that really um, makes the externship training so special is we're all people too. We're all humans. We're all mammals. And I think that when people take the training, many people have a sense of, oh, I make more sense to myself. My relationships make more sense to me. I feel like I've come home in a certain way because it's a very respectful, it's very humanistic. We're all, you know, wired in this way. We're all likely to get triggered by certain kinds of experiences. And many people have a felt sense of, wow, something is really clicking here, not just for my clients, but also for me. You know, it makes sense to me and I want more of this because I, why wouldn't it feel good to be understood and to feel like there's a way out of tough spaces for all of us, right? And, and so maybe it would be helpful for us to say like, what are the different components of this externship? I give you the basic information. You will have... Um, you'll have a copy of my slides, so you'll be able to look at that at, on your own time as well, just to learn the information, you know, to kind of review the attachment theory, to talk about disrupted attachment, to understand what are the contraindications for EFT, and to learn the, the, the steps and stages, the process of helping people from disrupted attachment to understanding what's happening, to building secure attachment. So there, there's definitely content that we're going to offer, right? And then there's opportunities to try it on in exercises, in role plays that are also guided and supported. There's the homeroom experience to so just touch base with, how's it going today? How is it landing? How's everybody doing, right? And then there are also um, live sessions. So I will do one or two, usually two live sessions where someone will bring in a couple that they're working with. And I will actually do a session of EFT with those clients that I'm just meeting for the first time. And the group will watch the session with me. And then, when we get close to the end, I'll take a break, come back to our group and ask for feedback from the, uh, from the trainees from our group to say, what message would you like to send back to the clients now that you've been watching them and, and, and paying such close attention to their work? And that feedback is often, I think, one of the most meaningful pieces people who have felt stuck or embarrassed or awkward about something to get affirming messages, things that have touched the participants as they've watched that support them in their journey is huge. So that's another important and I think somewhat unique component to EFT trainings is that we actually have enough confidence in this model that we'll walk into a room with total strangers and do an Mm -hmm. EFT session. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's amazing to watch it unfold because, you know, you, you share all the information and we try it on, but then we get to see you, somebody who's been trying it on for a long time (laughs) to, uh, to, to show us more. Right. And then it just like, 
it just goes to a deeper level to see you do it. Like, oh, that's what I, I think Alana talked about doing something like that. And I'm seeing her doing doing it right now. Right now. Real in time. real time. And yes, and I will also bring in, yeah, I can also bring in snippets of videos of other clinical material that I have. But at the same time, there's something about seeing it unfold brand new, mm -hmm. unedited. Here we are. Yeah. That I think makes it very real uh, for right. all the participants. Right. It's very, um, it is very authentic. It's not, it's not cherry picked. And sometimes, you know what? And if I get stuck, I also call that. I say, you know what? I think, and this happened to me in one live session um, about a year and a half ago. I real, all of a sudden I realized, I said, you know, I think I'm getting one of the partners really pretty well, but I turned to the other one. I said, I think I'm missing something with you. Do you think I'm missing something here? Mm -hmm. And then we had to go back again and kind of go around uh, the circle again, and I had to connect something that 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 I didn't get the first time. So that happens too. But I think that's right. that's also useful because we all get into corners where we can get stuck and we need to get out, right? Yeah. But I do have a lot of faith in this model, and I often say, and and um, you know, I think of like when people are learning to drive, and and you say, just hug. Sometimes you don't know where the road is all going to go, but you hug the curb. If you hug the curb, you know, you will, you will stay on the road, mm -hmm. right? So I stay close to the model and find my way. And, and I think by help, I think many of the participants feel that by the time they've been through a number of role plays by the end of four days, they have something real to take back to their, to their practice, mm -hmm. to their offices. Yeah.